So, uh, it's that, it's that time of the, the year, I guess. I don't know, I just rolled out of bed like 20 minutes ago. I actually don't even know if I'm going to post to this. Depends on what's announced. My guess is probably just going to be a bunch of cool third-party stuff and that that's about it. Unless they be like, oh, and if you want more, we're doing a real Nintendo Direct in a week. That'd be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? That was a new intro. Oh, yeah, these are the Xbox games. Okay, so Puro was right. <laughs> right, yeah, I forgot about I forgot about Puro. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna pause this. I forgot about Puro. So uh, he said something about a spherical monkey, which makes me it makes me think Monkey Ball. But I'm thinking maybe Balloon's Tower Defense, because Puro intentionally makes his leaks a little bit misleading. Yeah, he said is Xbox a partner, he said is Spherical Monkey a partner, and he said Nintendo is a partner to nature because they like dolphins. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I guess we're about to find out. Damn, so this is like really official. Xbox games are actually coming to Switch. That's... That's like so crazy. That's soon. Oh my god, it literally just says Xbox right there. Homunculi, artificial life forms created as the country flourished were meant to bring about a brighter future. Instead, they revolted and killed everyone. It's your adventure, your way. What the it's fuck does that Switch mean? Games. Like Minecraft? What is that? Whoa. That everything moves when That looks funky. Out into the oh my god. On a journey to liberate <laughs> Unicorn Overlord. Very original Custom name, people. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> this is the RPG section. There are so many RPGs. Do you think there's more RPGs or more animes in this world? Oh. Huh. I was about to say, I'm like, didn't this come out already? Yeah, I remember the second one. They advertised like there was no tomorrow when it came out, so... Oh, yeah! The edgy Mickey game. Oh, why is that running so... Why is that running so slow? I mean, that's cool, don't get me wrong. I, uh... I had this game, I just never actually... Just never actually finished it. Okay, we're six minutes in, and currently there's nothing that really catches my eye. What the fuck? I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own Whoa. while you were away. I'll I thought Tokyo was from Persona 5. Well, you look cool. If you want revenge, then I'll help you get it. Ah, uh, yes. Murder the innocents. Oh, that's okay. That title actually goes kind of hard with the V being like behind the the the, 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 the V. That's okay. That's fucking cool. I like it. Unite and fight in these Nintendo Switch games. So is this like Pokemon or? Oh no, wait. Pokemon isn't for another day. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront. I got this game for like five dollars on Steam at the behest of some friends. I played it for exactly two hours and got absolutely wiped. Every single time. Uh, I mean, shooters are just not for me, I'm gonna be honest. Ah, the new South Park game. I'm trying to figure out if I want to play this game. The 3D aesthetic is really weird. Oh my god. Wait, is this like fucking God of War combat? Oh boy. Isn't this like the anime where some dude unknowingly dated his cousin? Wait, I thought if you died in the game, you died in real life. Is it like if you die in the game, you die in real life, but you also get saved in the game? So now you could just kind of be used as an NPC by people? <laughs> Break and build your Gundam in Gundam Breaker 4. Very original title. I mean, it looks like a PlayStation 3 game, but I, I guess for all y'all who are into Gundams. 
monkey business. Oh, no shit. This is actually real. Puro does it again, I guess. Over 200 brand new Literally, what the hell are that man's sources? Using the new spin dash oh. There, there, you now have to... Like, shoot yourself forward on certain stages? Oh my god, this, this game's hard enough to control. Oh no! No, they made everything a battle royale! Okay, that does actually look really fun. I've played Monkey Ball before. I, I got it on like a mobile app. I've never actually played the console games, but I played like a mobile app, which I think was like sort of a... I think it was sort of a... like a, like a thing. I mean... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh, Puro does it again. Only thing that we need to see is something about dolphins and he'll be three for three. The world of goo. Two. I played this game growing up. I had it on mobile and it was such a crack trip. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole thing in the first game was that it was a whole story about like, like fucking up the climate, like beyond repair. The game ends with you like straight up just destroying the climate. The girl who steals time? Once by assuming one of many different roles called lives. Well, that's kind of cool. Become a miner to collect ore. Oh, that I feel like that phrase is going to be taken out of out of context. You can swap between these lives and many more. You know, you, you could just call them jobs. You'll gradually uncover truths about your new island home. Oh, so you find out stuff about the island of the past, <laughs> you find out in the past that your island is actually like the ritual site for like an evil god. <laughs> and now you just have to deal with it because you've built up a whole society in here. Didn't like one of these just come out in the fall? Oh! It's this game. This is like the Dark Souls type game that uses a crab. Why does he sound like such a... He sounds like an anime protagonist. Another crab's treasure. Launching on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I'm totally gonna be seeing Agro Crab blowing up my uh, Twitter timeline for that. Have you dashing, dropping, oh, is it gonna be like Penny's Big Breakaway? I think that's the name. Yeah, okay. Dude, look at the art style of this fucking game. Oh my god. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like a game like this is gonna have a really sad ending. But this looks like a game that is all about like specializing movement. Oh shit. Oh no. Choose from three modes. Original, time limit, and attack. Online multiplayer will be I feel like you guys are a little late to add DLC to this game. I don't know if it I don't know if it, you know I don't know if it lost popularity, but uh huh, that's also that's interesting. For a fusion of solitaire and horse racing in this remastered version of Pocket Car Jockey. Dog, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's from Game Freak. Yeah, didn't Piero say something about how is Game Freak a partner? And everybody was like, oh my god, we're gonna get Pokemon. No, we're gonna get... Solitaire Jockey? What is this? Pocket Car Jockey, right on. Launching on Literally, what is this? Ah, yes. So I guess that's it. Oh, this is the... Is that the really bad, um... Is that like the really bad thing? I forgot. I can't... I can't think, bro. It's so early. Operation Galuga. Okay, so nothing about dolphins yet, but Piero has been pretty on par with all the stuff he mentioned. Almost wraps up this Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Almost. But before we go, we have two more announcements to share. Oh, just First, two. Please take a look at this. Let me guess, not Hollow Knight? Wait, Rare Rare? What is... Oh, it's just all the Rareware games. Okay. This looks like it'd be a first party announcement. Today. Well, shit. You can play them with okay. The Nintendo Switch I mean, Mario that's Warp. neat. The next is our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, so this is the Dolphins. <laughs> oh my fucking god, he was right on the money. 
How does he do this? So what is this, a scuba diving simulator? Uh, okay, yeah, it really is just a scuba diving simulator. And nothing else. In an all new, endless ocean game. You just get to look at fish. Welcome what is endless ocean? Changes with each dive. Oh, wow, so you just get Up something to new to the- Oh my god, that's amazing. Ocean steps together. <laughs> 30. <laughs> this is cool, I guess. I mean, if you're into it. I was there like a previous endless ocean game? I don't know if there was. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo oh, eShop. Okay. We hope you're looking forward to exploring the vast ocean on Nintendo Switch. I mean, me personally, That's I'm all not. For today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Okay, so that was Thank it. You for watching. It's a little sad that Nintendo is apparently not cooking up anything for first party. Because, you know, this would normally be the time where they show stuff. They normally have all this and then other things. And that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Oh, and this ocean came out in 2007. Literally, I don't know what that is. I don't really give too much of a fuck about it. <laughs> Endless Ocean, one or two of my favorite games. If it's anything like his predecessors, you know, truly in for one, truly in for a wonderful adventure. Great day to be part of the one percent that actually knows anything about Endless Ocean. So I, yeah, okay, that's just kind of it then. Hey, uh, it's me again. Now well rested. I learned throughout the day that Endless Ocean is actually pretty popular, which I didn't know. There's actually a lot of people who really, really like this franchise and have fond memories of playing it. Like my friend Mikey, for example. He has very fond memories of playing this with loved ones and it's actually one of the reasons he chose to go down the career path that he's currently going down. So, uh... Yeah, I guess Endless Ocean Sweep. You learn something new every day.